Hello everyone, this is Phil, user PhD21 from the Linux Mint forums. Um, I've been helping a person on the Linux Mint forums uh, who just switched from Windows to Linux Mint. Uh, they're using the Cinnamon Edition. Um, Linux Mint has four wonderful uh, desktop versions. Cinnamon, Mate, KDE, and XFCE. Uh, this person happens to be using uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon uh, 18.1 Serena based on Ubuntu uh, version 16.04 um, I was using Linux Mint KDE 18.1 uh, and in some of my examples to help this user in it uh, apparently seemed to confuse <laughs> the user. So I booted up to Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon Edition to try and uh, clarify things for this user. They're trying to install uh, a program called Fossamail. It's an email client like Thunderbird. Um, and they used to use that in Windows. They want to use it in Linux Mint and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and you can run Thunderbird and Fossamail on the same system. They don't conflict. Um, but uh, most programs in Linux Mint, uh, most programs in the Linux Mint systems can be installed easily through the what they call the Software Manager or the Synaptic Package Manager. Um, Fossamail is not one of them. Uh, they chose to distribute their software for Linux as in an archive format, what they call uh, a tarball, because it ends in .tar, uh, the file, um, which requires manual installation. I mean, it's not hard to do, uh, but this user was having a problem with it. Um, so I'm going to uh, do a quick tutorial on how to set that up. Um, as you can see, I'm using Linux Mint 18. 64 bit cinnamon and all you have to do is go you know bring up your web browser go to the fossamail website which is fossamail.org scroll down their home page till you see the download button click the download button now it pops up and it gives you a choice of two different versions 38.1 which is their most current version or 38.0 um, I'm just going to click 38.1. Now it shows a list of files. Um, these are all installation files. Um, some are for Windows, a 32-bit installer, or a 64-bit installer, um, and the top ones are for Linux. Um, the i686 are for 32-bit uh, systems, and then there's an x86-64. Normally that's for 64-bit, but that might work for 32-bit systems as well. Um, but in this case, uh, it's a 64-bit system, so we're going to install the 64-bit version. And it says Fossamail 38.1 Linux, you know, x86 underscore 64 dot tar, which is an archive file, a tarball archive, dot bz2. So all you got to do is click that. It's going to come up and ask you, what do you want to do with it? I'm going to save it. It automatically pops up to your downloads folder. So I'm just going to click Save. And you can see it's saving that. Boom. Okay. Now, um, that file's been saved into my downloads folder. Now I could, you know, I could just click my file manager down here the little folder down here in Cinnamon that's the file it says files but that's the file manager it's called Nemo and if you click help and about it'll say Nemo um, it's the Cinnamon desktops file manager go to my downloads folder and look for the file I just downloaded Fossamail right here click that right click it and select extract here And in a moment, it will extract the contents of the archive file into its own folder, a Fossamail folder.
and there it is fossil mail now I mean I'm still under in my downloads folder okay now th this folder contains all the programs necessary to, to run the fossil mail email client um, there's not really anything to install um, you just have to execute the, their main program but you know I don't want to have this fossil mail folder in my downloads folder I'm going to move that to my home folder and there's various ways to do that um, uh, I'm just going to click edit and copy to my home folder Boom. okay and I already had it there so now I click on my home folder and there's a fossa mail folder now in my case there there are a lot of good programs that are available for for Linux and Linux Mint um, and that install in various different ways not all tarball file you know not all archive files like tarballs like for fossa mail um, work the same way um, they usually give you instructions on their website or in the tarball on what to do to install it um, in this case it truly is pretty simple you just extract the the tarball archive file it creates a folder um, copy that folder someplace you know unless you want to run it from your downloads folder I would recommend copying it to your home folder or create a new folder you know like called applications and I, I create one called applications you know apps dash miscellaneous where I put all these kind of programs that don't install in a normal Linux fashion um, I put all those kind of programs in its own folder called apps dash miscellaneous uh, but to make this simpler um, I'm just going to leave the, the fossa mail folder in my home folder now the main program t to start fossa mail is called fossa mail you know um, there's no extension like exe you know or anything else sometimes there is sometimes there isn't um, in their case it isn't it's right here it's a program uh, it's an executable um, but it's a good idea to make sure that um, your system will allow you to run it that you have the permission to run it so all you have to do is right click this click properties then click permissions and make sure that you know you're the your user have read and write access to it which it says it does and that you're allowed to execute this file as a program now it already has that um, if it didn't I would change it to read and write and I'd make sure this is checked where it says allow executing a file as a program but since it already has it I don't have to do anything else so I just hit close now I could just double click this file and it will bring up the program right now but I don't want to have to go in you know bring up the file manager and browse to the fossmail folder every time I want to start fossmail so I want to create a desktop shortcut for that and the easiest way to do that is to just right click your desktop and select create a new launcher here that's the same thing as saying you know create a new desktop shortcut launcher icon here so you just click create a new launcher here okay type in a name you know in this case the name of the program fossa mail it's a mail client so in the comment put mail client and where it says command click the browse button okay it brings up your you know a, a, a file browse file dialog uh, box just browse to the fossa mail folder double click it and then click the fossa mail file or double click it you know you can click it once and click OK or just double click it I'm just gonna click it and click OK and now it's in there um, if you want you can change the default icon to the fossa mail icon by clicking this button browsing to the fossa mail folder I happen to know the icons underneath the Chrome folder under icons under default just pick one you know, I choosing the uh, icon size of 32 click OK there it is now just click OK 
Now it pops up and says, would you like to add this launcher to the menu? That's convenient. Sure, I would. It will be placed in the other category initially, which means you can edit the menu and move it to a different category. Um, so I'm going to say yes. Now, you may have to restart, you know, or log out and log back in for it to show up in the menu. But you can see it created the desktop shortcut perfectly. And there it is. So um, I can also right click the desktop and say, you know, organize by name. And then it or, you know, sorts the uh, icons by name. And then I just double click it. And it'll pop up with Fossimail. It says, what's my name? It wants me to enter in uh, an email account. So I put in my email account. Uh, it's looking it up. And you have a choice here to choose an IMAP or a POP3. I'm just going to leave the default and click Done. It's going to ask me to verify this through my Google. So I click Next. And say allow. You only have to do this once. Okay, and it's asking me if I want to integrate this with the rest of the system. Uh, in my case, for right now, I don't want to do that. You would probably just click, you know, set as default. Um, I don't want to do that at the moment. Okay, and as you can see, here it is. That's how easy it is to get that to work. Now, um, it would also, it's, you know, initially when it first started up on mine, it also asked if I, you know, down at the bottom, if I would like, uh, to keep it integrated, the, the lightning add-on, which is a, uh, Thunderbird, uh, calendar program called lightning. Um, uh, Fossimil uses the same one. It's a great thing. So if it asks you to keep that, say yes, keep it. Click the keep button. I already did that before. Okay, so now here's Fossmail. And I have an icon that easily works to bring that up. Now, it said it was going to put it in another category. Well, when I first did this, that other category wasn't there. I had to actually restart uh, or log out and log back in for that to show up. Uh, now, it obviously did show up now, but I, this is the second time I'm going through this. Okay. Now, normally, because it is an internet program, um, if it was installed through a normal Linux process, it would automatically know which category to put it in, and it would probably stick it in underneath the internet. Now, I can change that. You know, I can uh, go over here. And uh, I was trying to see if it would let me copy it, you know, just drag, you know, drag and copy it, but um, from there, but it didn't. But I'll show you how to uh, create a new menu entry. Just uh, from scratch, you just uh, right-click the menu key, click configure. Up at the top, you uh, just click menu. Then in the middle, it says open the menu editor. Click that. And these are all the items in your menus. You can rearrange them. You can add a new menu. You can even add a new item. You can uh, edit it by checking the pro clicking the properties. Now, if I click under Internet, okay, it shows all the Internet applications here. Now, I created a desktop shortcut, and it automatically added a menu item to other. And it said it was going to do that. But I want to. I want the Fossimail client instead of being in other. Uh, 
in the internet menu. So I'm going to click uh, copy, click on internet, and then hit paste. And there it is. Now I could go back to other and uncheck it or just leave it there. Hit close. Now if I click the menu, you can see the fossil mail is under there. Now, what if I wanted to add a new one, though? I could have clicked Internet, clicked New Item, and you know it's exactly the same process as creating a desktop icon. I could type in uh, Fossa Mail. It's a mail client. Click the Browse button, browse to the Fossa Mail folder. Click the uh, main program. In this case, it's just plain fossil mail. Double click that. Okay. Click the icon. Change that if I want to. And then I click OK. See how it added another one. Now, I've already had it in there. I, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to add a menu item. I'm going to delete that because I already have one. Then you just click close and X in the upper right. So now I have a desktop icon and I have it in my menus as well. So that's how easy it is to get it uh, to install the Fossa Mail program. Um, I hope that helped. So have a great day.